Hey YouTubers, thanks so much for checking out this video. For those of you that don't know us, I'm Trish. And I'm Jose, and we're with Just Dance. And in this video, we're gonna be giving you tips to improve your frame, posture, technique, musicality, and connection in the common patterns of the polka. So let's go ahead and get to it. In this video, we're going to be giving you tips to improve your frame and your connection in the turning basic of the polka. It looks like this. Let's go this way. So we have one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So right there, we demonstrated two turning basics in a row. We're going to do that again turning the other direction. It looks like this. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So you could do a single turning basic like one time around or you could do multiple. The footwork that we're, or the foot positions that we're dancing today will allow you to do multiples if you would like to. All right, so Jose is gonna go ahead and get right into the frame tips. All right, so for my tip is for the leaders on not bringing your right hand in, because what this does, it's gonna pull the follower off her feet and she's gonna lose her balance and you're gonna take away her space that she needs to come around you. Right, so the place that that happens the most where leaders do that is on the back half. So we'll show you the first half again. So he's coming around me. So a lot of times what happens um, at this point is the leader will pull the follower in to bring her around. And let's show you that from a different angle as well. So he comes around me first, one and two. And a lot of times the leaders will pull the follower around to kind of force them into this pattern, but it's not necessary. Like he said, it pulls us off of our balance. So instead, you wanna keep that arm nice and still. We'll show you again. He's gonna keep it still. So he comes around. Now this arm isn't gonna move. He's just going to change his shape and that invites me past him. That brings me to my tips on connection. So for this pattern to lead it effectively, uh, leaders, you're gonna be doing what's called a shape lead. So that means you're gonna shape your body to give the lady or your follower an invitation to come past you so that you don't have to pull them. They can do the steps on their own and you're just giving them that direction. So when Jose goes backwards, so just let's do that backwards part, so starting with this foot, um, he's gonna shape his body, you see? So he starts to take his right side back and it allows me to run past him on my own. So I'm able to keep my own balance, I'm able to do my own steps, and he's able to do his without affecting each other's balance. So let's demonstrate that for them one more time all the way through. We'll scoot back, back, back. We're gonna do a few in a row. And I want you all to pay close attention to that frame. We have one and two, shape three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So uh, followers, I know that I haven't given many tips for you, but I want to add that we also have to shape our body because there are two halves of this pattern. You have the forward half and the back half, also known as the outside of the turn and the inside of the turn. Whoever is on the outside of the turn, the person going forward, has to go around or past the person going backwards, which is the one on the inside of the turn. Therefore, if you're going backwards on the inside of the turn, you should be shaping your body to allow your partner to get around you easier so that they don't have to take such large steps. We'll show you that again. So this time pay attention to the person going backwards. We're going to be shaping our body to the right to allow our partner to go. So we have one and two, now he's shaping, now I'm shaping and then he's shaping. By us taking turns like that, we could do this pattern all night long, all around the room to the entire song. We'll get dizzy, but we'll be able to get around each other without feeling like we're pushing or pulling or spinning out of control. So anyway, um, that is it for this video. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick recap frame tips. Uh, so my tip was on the leaders, making sure to keep that arm out and use your shape lead to lead the follower around and not bring it in to pull the leader off her feet. The follower off her feet. Oh, the follower. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then also um, adding to the shaping connection that I talked about, 
uh, we also both need to take turns. The person on the inside of the turn should be opening to the right to allow the person going forward easier pass around them. So those are our tips for you today in this turning basic. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscription bell so you can get notified on videos we do on a regular basis. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.